Third thing, slothful servants are wicked servants. Notice verse 26. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I am not where I have not sown and gather where I have scattered no seed. Slothful servants are wicked servants. True sloth, like I was saying, is not simply when I'm idle, but when I'm idle with regards to Christ. Idleness towards Christ is the sum of wickedness. Listen, you ever got, we do this. We go door to door evangelistically. And you can, go, you can go to somebody's door and they, they basically believe that they're a good person and they basically believe that they do good. You say, why? Why? Tell me about your life. Well, you know, I go to church sometimes and I say my prayers and I give to the United Way at, at Christmas time and I, I visit my grandmother in the nursing home. I do these things. Uh, I buy donuts for the guys at work. But you know what? They do none of it for Christ. And can you see from this parable? If you don't bring any return for Christ in all your activity, you may be a very personable person and very moral. You may be the nice guy at work. You may have a great personality. You may be charitable. But you're not doing it You're not doing it because you love Christ. You're not doing it because you want to see Christ honored. You're doing it for other reasons. That is the sum of wickedness here. Wicked. Don't live your life for Christ. He's given you life and He's given you everything. And to turn and use it all for something else. Every privilege, every power, every penny are intended to be put to work for Christ. We need to be doing spiritual inventory here. Am I using everything for His glory?